What's up YouTube? We've got a couple of bags of shit from Tuesday's Ride Along, so let's do a show and tell. Let's have a look what crap we got and uh, how much money we can get in the kitty. It's show and tell. So we started off back at that hillbilly place uh, from the garage sale trail, if you remember. Um, so I picked up for $2, uh, for $2 this Inside Out, uh, Inside Out uh, Bing Bong, brand new, still in the box. I can get 20 bucks for that, $20. Uh, $2 I paid for this and I'll pick up 20 bucks from this. It was sell for $20, undercutting other people that have got it for 25 uh, which is pretty fucking sweet. A little bit of box damage, but that's alright. That's okay, because we got a singing elephant. Picked up this uh, Five Movie Freak Fest uh, DVD. I think it was... Fuck, I can't even remember now. I didn't even write it on there. I wrote how much I'll get for it. Shit! Um, I think it was 50 cents. I think it was 50 cents. I don't think I paid a dollar. I think it was... Maybe it was a dollar. It was either a dollar or 50 cents, one or the other. Uh, but anyway, this one... I took a stab at it in the dark, it's uh, five um, kind of Godzilla-ish uh, Monsters Attack uh, DVD. I'll get ten bucks for it, it was sell for ten dollars. It was sell for ten dollars. Jelly. Don't be jelly. It was sell for ten bucks, uh, which is pretty sweet, so... And a few other people have got it on there for a lot more, so... Ten bucks, thank you very much. This was cool, picking up this one. Um, two DVDs for one dollar. Uh, Australians, Australians at War, this was an ABC uh, documentary. Before I list it, I am actually going to have a watch of this, because I do remember this being on ABC. Uh, both discs, all the discs are in there, nice and uh, nice and clean. Uh, brand new, it's going for $50 online, um, and selling as well, that's from sold items. Um, so this one here, I'll uh, put it 20 bucks, and that's undercutting a few other people that I got for like 22 and 24 and 25 used. And they're selling used all day, every day, all day long. So I'll get 20 bucks from that from $1. Um, and that's, I'm going to look forward to it. I'll watch this doco. It'll be good. I got all these uh, Hardy Boys uh, books. It was $2 for six of them. Uh, they're vintage. They're old. I looked them up while I was there. And um, people have been... My fucking lucky band just broke. Uh, people have been selling them for um, like $50 and $40, and this is sold listings as well, um, as lots, as lots. So I'm going to lock mine up. Um, once I've done the research of my ones, my ones should sell for about 25 to 30 So I'm going to put 30 bucks up uh, into the kitty today for them, because that's my expectations, is 30 And I'm pretty confident they're going to sell for 30 because everyone else has been selling all theirs for, like I said, 40 50 but they've got like an extra two books. I've got six books, so I'm basically taking ten bucks off the price. I'm pretty confident about these ones from two dollars into twenty bucks. Happy days. Talking about happy days, sometimes you've just got to jump the shark. Sometimes you've just got to jump the shark, and if you don't know what that means, look it up. All right, we got this uh, cassette tape. I'm pretty sure this cassette tape was fifty cents. Yeah, it was fifty cents. Little Women, uh, an audio book. There's two cassettes in there. Uh, two cassettes in there. Uh, unfortunately I only get 10 bucks if that, if that sells. A um, few other people have sold it, about 8 bucks and 10 bucks and all that, but it's not a, it's going to sit on the shelves for a long, long time, long, long time, but 10 bucks will be put in the kitty for that. Once that sells, I won't go any lower than 10 bucks. Now I uh, found these shoes. These shoes were $15, size 7. The original price tag is on there uh, saying $119.95 uh, Sorrento for men Pathfinders All right. I, I really struggled uh, finding these uh, shoes online but they're genuine leather they're brand new they're oil resistant and um, they're pretty nice but they're only size 7 um, I did ask uh, Brad from Two Aussie Frifters, check out Two Aussie Frifters if you haven't watched that. Probably the best Australian uh, YouTube channel going. Um, 
and they've got a lot of knowledge about clothes and shoes. Not sure about these ones yet. I have uh, kind of looked them up and we're thinking $80. We're thinking $80, so I also looked, some have been going for $150. So what I might do is I might put them on eBay for $150 bucks to start off with, and then each week, if it doesn't have watches, keep dropping the price or something until I get to $80. So I'm only going to put $80 in the kitty for these ones because my expectations is $80, um, maybe even $70. But on all hope, they could sell for 150 bucks from $15. So we'll... I'll let you know if these sell. Uh, first pair of shoes I brought to resell. Uh, pretty happy with these. Wish they were a bigger size. But they're not bad looking shoes. Not bad looking shoes. Pretty good. So from that first... From that first Hillbilly Thrift Shop, we spent $22 and we're hoping for a return of eighty, $180. Uh, from that little lot, I'll put it all in the kitty at the end. Calm down, you'll get to see the kitty because the kitty doesn't lie, okay? So I'll put it all in the kitty at the end. Don't forget, if you want to see me get all this shit, you got to tune in and subscribe for Tuesdays. That's in the schedule. Uh, Tuesdays is right along, so don't forget to uh, watch on Tuesdays. And I do have an Instagram now, so you can, uh, if you have any personal questions, you can ask me on there. And I do have an eBay store. Everything helps go towards the honeymoon and the wedding. Uh, so I can get drunk on a honeymoon. And just before I go to the next store, I forgot about one thing for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I forgot. And this goes into the total of the last one. I'll get $10 for this. This is Journey to the Center of the Earth. Not many people have it listed at all. This is the old, old, original one. I got this for free. So if it doesn't sell, it's not a fucking big deal. No skin off my sack. I don't fucking care. But it was free. And out of all the free uh, videos that were there, this one was the best. Um, and I looked it up. And it's a rare one. So and 10 bucks I'll be happy with for paying nothing. Okay, the next store. I was pretty stoked. Um... And if you remember from Tuesday's Ride Along, I found this Color Power Graphics Casio uh, calculator. Really heavy as well. It's got the booklet in there, the big booklet, all that type of shit is in there. Um, still in the box, all the graphics and all that. She wanted $10 for it and she charged me 5 bucks for her. Good the fuck on her. Well done to her. She only fucking charged me fiver. Um, I looked this up. The most I can get really in reality is $50. And that's undercutting other people that don't have it in a box. And people that do have it in a box are selling it for 55 So I'll undercut. And I've got the booklet and all that as well. So 50 bucks will be nice. Uh, second calculator I've ever brought. Still haven't sold the first one from a couple of weeks ago. But that didn't have a box. That's pretty sweet. If I can get $50 from five bucks, that's really heavy as well. So that's cool. And then from this place as well, just this random, uh, it's sealed, so we always grab jigsaw puzzles. Why not? Because people like buying them. And we've got this jigsaw puzzle, thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. Um, so have a little lake, um, there's some swans there, they're fucking chilling out, they're fucking, what's going on, uh, uh, Swanee? Uh, not much, mate, fucking uh, just hanging out and shit. And they're hanging out, they're, they're like, they're gangster, uh, gangster swans because they're hanging out under the bridge, um, taking meth and doing needles and shit. But then, uh, then the cottage you got there, you got a nice cottage with a straw, uh, straw roof, and you can't, you're not allowed to smoke. You're not allowed to smoke in that house because, or outside because um, some ash might set the roof on fire. So that's what I'm going to put in the descriptions for uh, this jigsaw. Uh, so this jigsaw I got for three bucks, and we can sell this for twenty bucks. Might only go for 15. Um, I don't really want to go lower than that. Um, but um, original price 10.95. Don't worry about fucking that. Don't you worry about that. I don't need to know that. So we'll get 20 bucks for that. I'll try for 20 bucks for that. So 20 bucks for the total of the kitty. So, so that place we spent eight dollars for hopefully a return of seventy dollars. That will go in the total of the kitty at the end. That's pretty sweet. Uh, good calculator too. Let me know in the comments what you think of some of the stuff that I've got so far. 
And uh, let's move on to the next place, which was the fill a bag $5 place. Uh, the place where it's got an asbestos fence when you walk in and you might need a tetanus shot. Go back and watch that Tuesdays. Don't forget, I told you Tuesdays is right along. Tuesdays is right along. So go back and watch all the Tuesday episodes because you will see me going through thrift shops. Okay, so this place, uh, didn't like the people that work there. The ladies talking about their flatulence and uh, shitting and, and stuff that makes them crap. Like, legit. I fucking kid you not. I cover this is pretty damaged. Pretty damaged, but the discs are all in there and the discs are all pretty good. So, this is a uh, Harlan Corbin, um, The Stranger audiobook. Audiobook on some CDs. Um, this one online has been selling for $25. 20 25 dollars brand new and one has sold used for 15 dollars so i've put mine at 15 dollars plus they pay their own postage and handling of course i'm not paying for no fucking postage pay for your own shit so that's pretty cool 15 dollars in the kitty and then we got another harlan corbin um oh there he is there is that him there oh he fucking bit of a douche why don't you just fucking write a book? Why do you fucking put it all on a CD? But anyway, he's fucking talked about his book on the CD or read the story to everyone. Uh, that one as well, uh, fifteen dollars. Same same thing as the last one. It's uh, sold and um, hold. Oh shit! Did I just uh, hold on tight? Hold on tight. Don't drop it like I did. Uh, next was oh, how much did I pay for those each? I paid um, I paid a dollar each for those. I paid a dollar each for those. Yeah, I paid a dollar each for those. Yep, so that was two bucks altogether so far. Then I paid, I got three DVDs, paid a dollar for three DVDs. First one I took a chance at was Dorothy the Dinosaur, um, Beach Party. Uh, look, Dorothy is getting drunk with uh, the dog wags and all that, and um, Captain Feathersword is tickling all their assholes. Anyway, this one, not worth shit. That is dog shit. I'll give that away to someone, someone uh, that's got Wiggles and all that and doesn't have Netflix um, can have that for their kid. The second one was a sealed one, uh, pregnancy pregnancy uh, fitness plan. We've got all these uh, women um, that are preggers, uh, jumping around, trying to get fit, but you ain't going to lose that belly. You ain't losing that belly until you have the kid. So this is worthless. And on the internet, worthless as well. Dog shit. Dog shit. No one wants it because everyone knows they're not going to lose their fucking belly until they've had the baby. Fucking why do they make these things? Even I could have told them that before they fucking made it. Dog shit. But this one was a used one. Um, and with Christmas coming up, Christmas stuff is going to sell. When I say Christmas stuff, a lot of Christmas CDs and a lot of Christmas movies will go. Um, I just literally just sold uh, this morning. Well, yeah, actually this morning I posted it. Um... Uh, National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation on VHS. Um, Home Alone, that's a Christmas movie. It's a fucking Christmas movie, Home Alone. Um, if you ever find Home Alone on VHS, I know you're going to get 10 bucks for it, but I've sold three Home Alone 1s uh, in the last couple of months. Home Alone 1 goes, okay? Home Alone 2 goes as well. 3 and 4, fuck off. So we got uh, this one, and this will get 10 bucks. We'll get 10 bucks. Uh, there's none for sale in Australia. But they've been selling, um, they're all for sale uh, worldwide in other countries and um, people are getting $15 and all that for them uh, or $10 and $7 but then they're charging like $30 postage so if I just put mine at $10 and then uh, your $2 postage fee for a DVD, it's happy days, okay? Now there's one last thing and it's in the uh, photo of uh, what this episode's about of show and tell and um, I found, and, I've, and you've seen it in, seen it in Ride Along. You fucking, did you watch Ride Along? Did you, did you fucking watch Ride Along? Fucking some of these fuckers didn't watch fucking Ride Along, so they don't know what I'm fucking. You didn't watch Ride Along. I didn't, I didn't watch fucking Ride Along. Should we go over fucking smoke? Uh, smoke break. So, if you watch, she's fucking vacuuming. If you can hear the vacuum cleaner, I am sorry, because she's vacuuming, my missus is vacuuming. Oh, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have gone for the smoke. This is the last one anyway before the kitty comes up. That vacuum better not disturb kitty. Do you remember from the 70s and 80s, a show called, I think it was on ABC, called Romper Room. 
Uh, Romper Room, this is Mr. Doobie. Mr. Doobie from Romper Room. This is vintage as fuck. There's a few of them for sale on there, and the majority of people have them for sale for $20 to $30. And they've been selling for $20 as well. Um, the other ones that are like this, people have got them for $25, so I'm undercutting the shit out of you. But that's alright, because undercutting's fine, because we're all in, uh, we're all in uh, this to make money. So, this I'll just get $20 for, and it will sell. And it will sell. I'm having to raise my voice because the vacuum cleaner just told me to fuck off. Pretty good nick. Pretty good nick for um, a 70s, 70s toy. So, 20 bucks for that. Happy with that. And this is actually really cool. I'm, uh, it brings back memories. Uh, put down in the comments if you remember Romper Room. Because that is fucking cool. And I couldn't believe it when I saw it straight away. I fucking saw that and... That's vintage shit. That's vintage shit right there. I love that. That is, I don't know if Romper Room is English or Australian show or American. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it was on our ABC. So, good to fuck on ya. Alright, so from that last shop we'll make about $60 and we spent $5. So we'll make $60 from $5. So, the part that you've all been waiting for. Bring it up. Bring up the kitty. Bring up the kitty. Put the fucking, don't put the price on there yet, kitty. Just don't put the price on, just feel the fucking music. Feel the kitty. Kitty, good kitty. Alright, so kitty. We spent all together. We spent. I had to quickly add that up, it didn't add up that much percent. We spent, kitty, we spent $35. 35 of my hard earned fucking dollars just to do this for you. Kitty, put up how much we're gonna make. Put up how much we're gonna make. Providing it all sells. It all sells. This is how much we'll get. Put up how much we'll make, Kitty. How much are we gonna make? We are gonna make $310 from $35. Woohoo! Kitty. Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty does not fucking lie. It does lie, apparently, from some of you and the haters because fucking I don't put in the tax uh, and the fees and all that shit, so sorry if I tell you what we earn without the taxes and the fees. But Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty does not lie. Ooh. 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 $310. Fuck off, Kitty. Fuck off, Kitty. Alright guys, you know when I tell the kitty to fuck off, you know what time that is, it's time for me to tell you uh, that there's my eBay account if you ever do want to buy anything that you see from me. Put a message in, put a message in, and every show and tell, every show and tell, if you put a message in that, uh, that you are a subscriber and a watcher of the YouTube channel, I'll do a shout out, one customer sale, or two customer sales was it, can't remember. And, you know, I'll chuck it in the middle to say a shout out and a thank you to anyone that buys uh, from me each week on Show and Tell. So if you don't get a shout out while uh, we're on Ride Along, all good. Don't forget Instagram, that just uh, popped up on the screen there. Don't forget fucking Tuesdays is Ride Along. Uh, next week, it's Ride Along. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Um, and subscribe. Uh, fucking much love to all you fuckers out there. Thanks so much for subscribing. Uh, the subscriptions keep getting higher and higher. Loving it. So give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Do what the fuck you want. Subscribe, don't subscribe. Whatever the fuck. I don't fucking care. But thanks for watching. That's the main thing. I appreciate the people that do watch it. That's the thing that I care about. $310. Woohoo! Oh man. Fuck. How many drinks am I going to have this? Fucking honeymoon coming up. Oh, oi. Fucking see you on Tuesday. Bye.